Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Kat. I live in a caravan. I work on a caravan inside and I travel. And today I want to give you a tour of our setup for the season, show you our seasonal owning and what we have inside, what we have in the garden and how we set it up for two adults and a dog. So join me on a tour of my home on wheels in beautiful North Devon. Leave me a thumbs up and come and explore with me. We are ready for our fourth season on this site and the fifth year of living on wheels. And uh, we have a seasonal owning. We picked up a second hand CampTech full owning for this season. We are very pleased with this model Savannah D Deluxe. <laughs> really good, really nice. I will show you inside in a minute. We also use those two wind brakes to separate our garden from the rest of the site because we have a doggy. So doggy has a free run here at the back. Unfortunately, I killed our previous owning because I cleaned it with bleach and it perished. And when we were putting it up this year, uh, a few weeks ago, it just snapped in our hands and we had to exchange it. But it's all right. We are very pleased with this one because this one is waterproof. Ours wasn't even after reproofing. So a word of advice for you, never use bleach to clean your owning. Wet and forget also doesn't work that well unless you want to spend a lot of time and money reproofing your owning. This one needs cleaning, so if you have any hacks for cleaning an owning without damaging waterproof surface, without exposing it to UV, please let me know in the comments. As you can see, it's early spring, so we still have our storm belts and extra straps to support the owning. And let's have a look inside. When we have a new visitor who's visiting us for the first time, their first impression is, oh wow, it's like home, it's so homely. Yes, it is homely because it is our home, we do live here. So what else do you expect? It is homely, it's our home. This is the doggy. Hello Diesel, say hello to viewers of Freedom Seekers. And we are saying hello to all fellow doggies living in caravans with their owners. A little woof from Diesel. Let us know in the comments if you are also a dog <laughs> and you are watching this video. If you are a happy dog living in a caravan. He's probably off to the sofa. So in the owning, of course, a pair of wellies. A must have when you live in a caravan full time. We've got this coat hanger and we always have too many pairs of shoes. Do you have the same problem? Always too many shoes. We picked it up last year, this hanger, and we really like it because it does come apart. So when you take your own in down for winter, you can put it apart and store it in a small box. Yeah, the coat hanger is easy to store. You can't say that about the fridge freezer. Probably like most of caravan dwellers, we have a fridge freezer in the owning which makes our life easy in high season when the area is busy, we have a lot of work, we don't have time to go shopping every day or every few days, so we do bigger shop once a week. Uh, we might have gone a bit over the top here because we have a dishwasher, but again, as I said, um, it's our home, we live here, so most of people have dishwashers in their home, so why not have one in the owning? We have a fully serviced pitch, really makes our life easier, really helps us with day-to-day -day living in a caravan. <laughs> Let me know if you also have a dishwasher in an owning or maybe you would like to have one. Let me know in the comments. Are there any other freaks out there who hate washing up and need, need a dishwasher in the owning? Um, yeah, we invested in new lights this year, LED lights, and I will probably tell you more about those lights in a separate video. Uh, for storing plates, so as you take it out from the dishwasher, we have this little cabinet here. First year we have it, we'll see how it works for us. It's work in progress, living in a caravan is work in progress and you are constantly evaluating what you need, what you don't need, what works, what doesn't. These little fellows work really well, little hooks on magnets. Oh, the wind is picking up a bit, flapping. Yeah, I like those hooks. I like those hooks, really good. Cheap, cheap and cheerful idea. We'll leave you a link to the hooks uh, in the description of this video if you want 
to buy similar we also have a bigger bigger magnet here for our pizza board this is our kitchen corner um, i cook in the oven mostly i like to open the window uh, when it's uh, nice and warm when i cook to avoid condensation in the oven and uh, also on a sunny day i like to take my electric stove to the garden and cook outside so maybe you do a similar thing we have a huge oven which was gifted to us much too big for the oven but it's brilliant and it bakes and cooks lovely so i know it's huge but it's worth worth the space we also uh, got uh, th this table really nice kitchen table which we have for this season first year again here we just uh, keep our garden chairs and umbrella for the doggy a little camping table and of course a place for the dog so this is our owning it's work in progress it's always work in progress when you live in a caravan so the problem to solve is how to put these away so they don't get dusty i need a box with a lid i also have too many pots and i was hoping to squeeze them in this cabinet but the the compartments are too small the drawers are too small i need something better for my cutlery so it takes less space in here the problem is that when you put it upright my knives are too high so they have to be flat and for that i need a flat tray but the tray for cutlery from a caravan is too big to fit in this box so hey ho problem solving problem solving again let me know how you store your cutlery and if you keep it in the oven so this is our oven we try to keep it clutter free nice and bright uh, with of course space for the doggy two chairs for us and uh, two more camping chairs for the guests in terms of heating i know it's a cutthroat uh, topic and quite risky quite controversial we do heat our own in mainly with chinese diesel heater and again i could tell you more about this in a separate video if you would like to know more about this the heater is stored in, com in outside compartment in the caravan and this is just a pipe which uh, blows hot air and it's brilliant it's very efficient quite cheap to run very powerful we are pleased with our chinese diesel heater during the last storms eunice and so on eunice franklin and who was the third one i can't remember we had a power cut which meant our diesel heater didn't work because we only have an old battery so we need electricity to power up diesel heater to start it up uh, so we bought this little gas heater this is our emergency solution for power cuts so we, if we ever get a power cut we can still use our little gas heater and we won't be cold here most of the things we have here were gifted the chairs uh, the carpet the table oven what else this box so we do pick up things from friends and family <laughs> from fellow campers, our guests who come to the site and leave things behind and if we can use it, we use it. Right, are you ready for the garden tour? We are very lucky here because look what we have here. We have a nice private garden which is ideal for us and for our dog. We have a, we have a table for, again. Someone gave us, gave us this table. We have another smaller table. Of course a barbecue. We are thinking about buying an electric barbecue. We had a gas barbecue, but prices of gas are so high. We are now thinking about getting electric. It might be actually cheaper to have an electric barbecue than a gas barbecue. This is a, this is a really, uh, this is the point, fo focal point of the garden. That's what steals the show. Look at this, we have a stream. We absolutely love sitting here in the summer when everything is green. Even now, it's absolutely beautiful, even with those bare trees. And I just feel so blessed that we live in such a beautiful place. Yeah, the garden is our uh, chill zone, our resting place. This is where we come to have our tea breaks, where we eat our lunches in the summer, where we entertain our guests. It is lovely when you live on site, when you live in a beautiful place, many people want to visit you and spend some time here and I don't blame them. So another final look at the garden. Let me know what you think. And if you have any garden, do you live in a caravan or do you live at home? Do you love your garden? What's happening at your end? Let me know. 
So we've been working on the same site for over three years. We are now starting our fourth season. And as you can see, we have some plants here in the planters. But this year I felt confident enough about the future <laughs> that I picked up those roses. So I'm going to plant roses here uh, around our pitch. Yeah, they were an offer, only 74p each in Tesco. So these are waiting to be planted. It will be lovely. So sometimes when people ask me, oh, how do you cope with living in such a tiny, tiny space? I say, well, I don't really live in this caravan. I sleep in this caravan, but I, I spend most of my time outside, outdoors. And I absolutely love it. So let me know how you see it, whether you live in a caravan full time, maybe you are thinking about moving into one, or maybe you are dreaming about such a lifestyle. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, you want to know how we uh, organize this lifestyle how we got here just drop me a question in the comments and i'm happy to answer right a quick look inside our caravan it's an old bailey bailey limousine 1995 we picked up this caravan because we like the bed at the back it is a dinette but it could be converted into a bed which in in practice gives us a fixed bed we have quite a small caravan but it works for us uh, it's practical, we fit here, of course I would prefer an island bed, but it's okay. W when we upgrade, we will look for a caravan with an island bed, but we got used to this one, it's okay. When we bought it, we didn't really think we would be living in a caravan full time. We bought it because our motorhome needed an MOT and we needed a place to stay. And there we are, three years later. Uh, we are still in this caravan, we sold our motor home. That's life. Expect the unexpected. We, we really like lifestyle, our caravan in lifestyle. Okay, moving into the kitchen. Uh, we don't have a kettle, I use a coffee machine uh, to dispense hot water. I like it because it only warms up as much water as I need. So no waste. We did a few upgrades around the caravan. Ah, what happens in the big oven? Well, yesterday I baked a cake. Baked yeast cake. Why not? Do you also bake in your caravan? So when the oven is up, not much is happening here, really, in this caravan kitchen. Uh, the caravan fridge doubles up as a cupboard space. Because we use the big uh, fridge in the oven. The same with the stove. We don't use a gas stove here in, in the caravan. To avoid condensation and you know it will be very hot uh, if you cook here in the summer so we tend to cook either outside or in the oven. This is the layout of our living room sofa so an L shape not two benches. We prefer this one because it's better for us for our doggy. Uh, it leaves us more space inside we don't have a table inside uh, to have a bit of space ready to move around for us and our dog. So we eat our meals either here at this table, outside in the garden, or sometimes uh, if we want to eat inside, we use small uh, folded tables like this one. Sometimes I use it as a desk if I do some work on my laptop. Marek uses one of those as a desk, very cheap, 10 pounds I think from B&M. Very nice tables. So over the years, we've changed a few things here. We updated a few things, uh, which I will probably tell you more about in the next videos. We made it our home. We made it uh, as comfortable for us as possible. And we are very happy in our little caravan. So a quick look uh, in the bathroom. Again, you probably noticed some changes here. Uh, I made a whole video about refurbishment of our bathroom. Yeah, little touches really make a difference, like this shelving, new light, and also a heater. We were really struggling and we were annoyed that we didn't have heating in the bathroom. So we added this one, uh, mostly to be able to close the door of the bathroom. Because uh, when we didn't have heating, it had to be open all the time to keep the bathroom warm. Uh, to let heat from the living room you know to flow into the bathroom and it was really annoying because the bathroom is right in the center of the caravan and we felt like we were living in the bathroom so now we can we can close it i will probably prepare a whole video about heating and different solutions we used here for heating in our caravan 
So again, watch this space. If you are interested, let me know in the comments. So that's how we set up for the season. Uh, this is our home. Welcome to our home. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Sometimes we do get questions from people who don't really understand how we can live in such a small and old caravan. We had a person recently asking us, if you both work and you know you earn money, why don't you get yourself a bigger, newer caravan? And the answer is we don't really feel a need at the moment. We don't feel a need to upgrade, to spend a lot of money on something shiny. I do miss an island bed. I would love to have an island bed, but I don't need it to that extent. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't get into debts uh, and I wouldn't spend all my savings on a caravan just for the sake of having an island bed. Uh, yeah, so we are happy here. We made it our own. Uh, we are looking forward to the new season. Guests, friends, visitors, interesting people who will come to visit us here in North Devon. You are all very welcome. Come and find us. Come and meet us. Um, yeah, drop us an email. I will leave you uh, our email, uh, our contact details in the description of this video if you would like to have a chat with us about what it's like to work on site, live on site. You are very welcome. Get in touch with us. And I will see you in the next video. You can find us on Instagram as well, KM Freedom Seekers, where we try to publish <laughs> regularly. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me in my home. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next video. Bye! Ah, 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 ah.